Hi guys, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to the library. <laughs> I know how boring that sounds. Don't click off just yet. I'm on a mission. Ever since 2022 started, on my TikTok, a fandom that I used to be in and still kind of am in has been appearing on my feed, and it's Five Nights at Freddy's. If you don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, you gotta Google it. It's basically a game about a haunted pizzeria with creepy animatronics just like the ones in Chuck E. Cheese, but there's YouTube channels dedicated to explaining what Five Nights at Freddy's is. I am not the one to do that. Five Nights at Freddy's, the first game, came out in 2014, and I've loved it since 2014. I think I got in to the fandom through the MOP fandom. I don't actually remember, but I fell in love with the game because as you guys know, I love scary movies and I thought I was the only one who found this Chuck E. Cheese animatronics really creepy. So when I found out there was a game explaining that these animatronics are creepy and haunted, I definitely was intrigued. So now it's 2022 and there's a new game that came out that TikTok made me aware of. It's called Security Breach. Now, I think I like kind of stopped being into Five Nights at Freddy's around the, the fifth game like sister location but um i still always had it in my heart i still loved it i just not, didn't keep up with it but now i spent my winter break keeping up with it if you guys know game theory or matt pat i love him he's one of my most favorite youtubers i started watching all his five nights of freddy's lore theories from the beginning of the playlist to the very latest video he posted i even watched my very first gt live of his and it was a five nights of freddy's one look at me going back in the fandom so the reason that we're going to the library is after i've watched matt pat theories there's books not only is there games coming out but there's books publishing non-stop and I want to try to find them this has me really excited because since I was little I've always loved reading I've done it less since you know you get older you get busier more hobbies but this might be an excuse to get back into reading. I feel like I'm a nerd in my own type of way without the AP classes and the spending all my free time studying but I do love learning I love school I love reading so I'm actually happy that Five Nights at Freddy's came back in my life because look we're going to the library and I haven't been to the library in years. Remember summer reading classes that we had to do in school? I remember I would convince my mom to buy them from Barnes & Noble because I thought used books were grimy. But look at me now. I'm a cheap college student and we are not buying those books. We are going to the library. I am so mad though because I remember it was like a few years ago. My mom was cleaning out one of her purses and she found a library card of mine. And I, I kept it. I was like, oh, maybe this will be used one day. And in the back of my mind, I was like, maybe I'll never use it. But I did keep it in one of my wallets. And and on this faithful day, the one day I could use my library card, I'm looking through my wallets and I couldn't find it. So I'm so mad because I could have used that library card my mom found a few years ago. But maybe I can teach you all how to get your own library card because I've got to do it today now. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're going to the library to find Five Nights at Freddy's books. Now, if we don't find them, I'll be so upset. But we can still do a library vlog. We can look around and we can see what the library has to offer because I haven't been there in years. And if we do find them, you guys know I'll be so happy. I'll be walking out with a stack with my new library card ready to read. So it is 9 a.m. The library opens at 10 a.m. and I'm going early because no one will be in the library because I hate filming in public. And this is my first time filming in public with my camera my vlog camera so if worse comes to worse i'll film on my phone but we're gonna get duncan first because i am hungry if you're excited as much as i'm excited don't forget to like and subscribe and join the herd let's get started <laughs> All right, I'm back from Dunkin'. Let's do a haul. I've been obsessed with Dunkin' Chinos lately. They're like a combination of hot chocolate and coffee. It's a hot drink, and they're so good. You have to try them. And then I've got a bagel with garden veggie cream cheese. Now the last item I got, oh my gosh, Dunkin' added chocolate croissants. You guys know I love croissants. I love chocolate chocolate croissants are where it's at i've done a video of me baking them too if you guys haven't seen it already oh my gosh they finally hopped on with a trend starbucks and wawa have them duncan took this long to have them but i'm so happy not complaining it's dangerous that duncan's so close to me and i can get chocolate croissants whenever i want but i'm saving it for later i'm so excited but anyway i'm gonna feast and then we're gonna drive to the library so we're at the library, technically, because I had to park in a nearby neighborhood because the parking near the library was giving me anxiety and I was stressing out. So now we gotta walk four minutes away to the library, but it's okay because it's actually a very sunny day as you can see and it's kind of cold, but it's nice outside. Before we get in, I'm nervous about like three things. One, being caught filming with my camera. I don't want them kicking me out or taking my camera away from me. Two, I'm 
a very loud person as you guys see my videos it is very hard for me to be quiet and three if they don't have the book that i want the five nights at freddy's books honestly i'll pick up anything that they have that they have five nights at freddy's but uh, we won't know until we go in at my university one time they had like a table laid out with a bunch of reusable masks in case you need any and i was like oh i'll just take one dude this is the mask they gave me it's the ones that look like a bird beak like what in the cheek of the chicken Here we go. Right here. One hour later. Guys, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Today was such a good day. We've got two of the Five Nights at Freddy's books. I low he was nervous the whole time because I was not expecting them to have the books at all. But they did. The only thing was, oh my gosh, this is the first and last library vlog i think because there were signs everywhere that said surveillance cameras are watching there were security guards everywhere i felt like i was constantly being watched i was so scared to film like my anxiety was amped up to the max i didn't even whip my camera out because i know the little clicking sounds of me recording and turning it on and off and the lens opening i knew that someone would hear it but oh my god dude i was looking around the library trying to find it myself i was looking under scott cawthon like s c because all the books were organized by author and then genre like horror and stuff and five nights at freddy's is young adult horror and i was looking all over the place and i gave up so i asked someone and when i was like i'm looking for a five nights at freddy's books honestly anything in the series he directed me to where they were and i found these two and there was a third one but i was like 
I'm, I doubt I could read three books in such a short time period. So I did pick two of these because within this book and these books and the other books in the Fazbear Fright series, there's three stories in one. And I just finished one story fetch in like the whole hour that I was in the library or maybe more than one hour I lost track of time but I definitely could finish these and I have to return them in three weeks so also I got a free library card I thought I'd have to pay but I did not it says free library card of Mia Rivera if only my camera would focus can you see it so yeah now I can scoop my five nights at Freddy's books all I want I wish I could have shown you guys the whole library because it was so beautiful there was an area with like a sunroof and the sun was like gleaming on all the tables and the books and it was just so beautiful I know that there were three floors and my FNAF books were on the humanities floor I think it was really organized and I loved it so much I definitely feel like I brought back my spark of reading again and my passion for reading I do love it a lot I remember when I was little, I was invested in Diary of a Wimpy Kid and the Dork Diary series. I'll insert a picture of one time me sitting in the Starbucks area of Barnes & Noble, all aesthetic with my croissant and my hot chocolate and my book laid out. I was definitely living that library aesthetic when I was little and we're, we're doing it again. I'm very picky when it comes to the books I read. Like Five Nights at Freddy's is the reason I'm going back into reading in the first place because I can't just pick up any book and read. But it's going to take a lot to get used to reading these this is my first time reading like a horror genre of books and i've watched scary movies and a lot of scary movies do have happy endings for the most part but these books do not have happy endings it's gonna take a lot to get used to like i've read the first fetch story out of three and i'm like i'm not disappointed it was a really good story and so suspenseful and i wanted to keep turning the page but like it leaves me so unsatisfied because there was no happy ending but i can't wait to read the rest oh my gosh i know i have to update my nighttime routine because this is what i'm reading before i go to bed even though that's a really bad idea so anyway let me actually show you guys the books i got so this is the first one it's called fetch it's number two of the fazbear frights series and you might be wondering why didn't i get number one well i actually already read number one it was actually an audiobook i listened to it on my way to school and like when i was cleaning my room and just doing simple tasks and they were actually super good and i have no issue with audiobooks but i just love holding a book and reading it myself it's so much better than listening to it but honestly th that was my first time listening to an audiobook and i kind of liked it it's so great when you just want to like multitask but also listen to a story and then i got number three in the series and it's called 1 35 a.m i actually technically know about all the stories that come in here from MatPat. Did you guys see the MatPat reference, by the way? In this book, I showed it, oh my gosh, where the girl was like, is that a, just a theory? My head was like, that's just a theory, a game theory. So yeah, going to the library today, I'm so happy I went, I loved it. You don't even gotta just check out your books. You can literally sit there and read and relax. It was so nice. Reading as a hobby, like reading for yourself, not just like those stupid books that you read in high school is so great because it's you're not forced to analyze everything you're reading what you want to read and it's just it feels so great what a relaxing healthy hobby and our brain stops developing at 25 years old so we got to get our brain exercising before that stuff starts to decay i'm now gonna go home film some more videos and try to get these books done before my spring break is over i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want to see more five minutes of freddy's related content i would love to start getting into that more and showing you guys more of my fandoms and obsessions don't forget to like subscribe share and leave comments everywhere have a blessed day keep reading y'all it's time to blast some five nights at freddy's music all the way home